Hello. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get around when your when your WordPress site is not sending emails. And normally, this is happening because the PHP Mailer class that is, exists in WordPress or on your server is being cut off at the host. So there is a workaround with that, and uh, let me go through it. So first thing we do is we're going to install the post SMTP plugin. I found this plugin to work pretty good. Okay, here we go. Okay, and then we activate it. So we'll need two things. We need the plugin, which we've already installed, and we're going to need a we're going to need a Google account. Now, for an agency, they can use one account for multiple clients. What I recommend for the, a single client is to create a is to create a uh, a second Gmail account just for this purpose. That way, you don't have to pass credentials. So if it's Bob's Plumber, Bob at Bob's Plumber dot com. You might want to create a Gmail forms dot Bob's Plumber at Gmail dot com. Just just something that's just used for this purpose, so you don't have to pass around primary email credentials. So let's start the wizard on the plugin. Okay, and I've basically done the same thing, is create a, a second email that, that's only used for this purpose. And I am using Gmail, so you can use the default, the default settings here. Okay, continue on. Uh, we select Gmail API. Next. Okay, we will need this information. So I did an earlier version that looks like it's saved. Okay, so where we'll, what we'll need to do now is we'll need to go to the Google Developer Console Gmail wizard. So well, that loads up. Okay, here we go. So it loaded up to this page. We'll continue. Preparing to create a project. Okay, now it says the API is enabled. Project has been created in Gmail. API has been enabled. Next, to use the API, you'll need the right credentials. Go to credentials. I clicked, I usually click back here and then end up back on the auth consent screen. Let's see, uh, demo API email, just give it any name. Okay, and the homepage URL, look at that. Okay, and this is not a privacy policy for the purposes we're using that. It's really not that important. I mean, you could fill it out. So let's save this. Create credentials. Now you'll select the auth client ID, web application. Okay, so here we go. Um, right here, this will be the root of your website. So I'm gonna select, oops. And you can get that information from right here. And 
and we could name this something demo email API. Now this will be the post back authorized redirect URI. Put that put that in there. Okay. Okay, so now we have our ID and our secret ID. Let's put that in here. And then the last step will be to authenticate. Authenticate in. Next, keep it at email. Finish. Okay, one last step and we should be good. Okay, so grant permissions with Google. It's going to require me to sign in again. This app hasn't been verified, which that's okay. Wants to allow you to allow. And now we're done. And let me uh, go over some of the settings. Okay, so now let's test this thing. Okay, I'm going to send it to myself. And finish. Let's see if it worked. And let's see. Yes, it did work. So we're good there. So if you want to see all the settings with it within this plugin, you can go here. You can see your client ID and client secret. I'll be deleting this after this video. Messaging, you can add additional recipients, custom headers. It allows for logging. Advance. I've not really used the advance, but it is there. And that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot.